let me tell you about one of the scariest dreams I've ever had. I woke with a start, my chest rising and falling, my breath ragged. For a moment, I didn't move. My eyes blinked against the dim light filtering through the trees above me. A canopy of gnarled branches stretched high into the sky, barely allowing the sun's rays to penetrate. The air was thick, humid, with a hint of something else, something I couldn't quite name. The ground beneath me was damp, cold. My hands pressed into the wet earth, slick with moss and fallen leaves. Slowly, I pushed myself up, the world around me spinning for a second. I had no idea where I was. I stood, swaying slightly as I surveyed the surroundings. Towering trees, their bark dark and rough, stretched endlessly in every direction. Their roots snaked along the forest floor, weaving in and out of the dirt, like veins under skin. Above, the sky was a dull gray, clouds heavy with the threat of rain. It felt like I had wandered into some kind of forgotten place, or worse, that it had found me. I took a breath, but it caught in my throat. Something wasn't right. My mind raced, trying to piece together how I'd ended up here, but there was, nothing. No memory, no clue. Just the forest, silent and still. As if waiting. Instinctively, I reached into my pockets, but they were empty. No phone. No wallet. Nothing that could tell me who I was, or why I was here. Panic gnawed at the edges of my thoughts, but I shoved it down, forcing myself to focus. I must have wandered off, maybe sleepwalking, I muttered. Though the words felt hollow. They didn't explain the eerie familiarity of this place, the creeping sensation that I'd been here before. But when? I took a step forward, leaves crunching under my feet, the sound unnaturally loud in the stillness. Every noise I made echoed back at me, like the forest itself was listening. I kept walking, each step heavier than the last. The trees closed in, their trunks thick and ancient, as if they'd stood for centuries, watching. The deeper I went, the darker it got. My heart pounded, louder than the steady thump of my boots on the forest floor. I glanced over my shoulder, though I wasn't sure why. Was someone there? The thought chilled me. Suddenly, I heard it. A sound, faint but unmistakable. A soft rustling, like someone, or something, moving just beyond the trees. I froze, my breath caught in my throat. I listened, but there was only silence now. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end. Hello? My voice sounded small, swallowed by the vastness of the forest. Nothing answered. No birds, no wind not even the distant hum of life. Just the overwhelming quiet. I forced myself to keep walking, though every instinct screamed at me to run. My pace quickened, feet sliding over the uneven ground. The trees seemed to shift, their branches twisting into strange shapes as I passed. Shadows danced at the corners of my vision. The deeper I ventured, the more disoriented I felt. Like the forest was changing around me, rearranging itself. Then I saw them. Markings. They were carved into the bark of a nearby tree, faint but deliberate. Strange symbols I didn't recognize, spiraling and intersecting, like a forgotten language. My fingers brushed against them, the grooves cold and sharp. What, what is this? I whispered to myself. The symbols felt old. Ancient even. They were familiar, somehow, though I couldn't place why. A chill ran through me as I stepped back. The symbols stretched from tree to tree, as if guiding me somewhere, or warning me. I didn't want to know where they led. I spun around. Desperate to find a way out. But every direction looked the same. Endless rows of trees, stretching into nothingness. My stomach tightened with dread. That's when I heard it again. The rustling. Louder this time. Closer. My breath hitched. I turned toward the sound, but the fog had thickened, masking whatever was out there. The rustling stopped, and in its place, silence. Thick, heavy silence. The kind that makes your skin crawl. I swallowed hard, my throat dry. Was it an animal? Or something worse? 
Before I could decide, the faintest whisper reached my ears. A voice. But it wasn't mine. It drifted through the trees, soft, barely audible. I couldn't make out the words, but it sent a chill down my spine. I stood frozen, straining to hear, but the voice faded, leaving only the haunting silence in its wake. Who's there? I called, but the forest remained still, as if holding its breath. My hands trembled at my sides. I took one hesitant step back, and then another, but it felt pointless. The forest, it was watching me. I could feel it. I wasn't alone. I was never alone. In that voice, it was still out there, waiting. I just had to find it, before it found me. What are these symbols? And who, or what, made that sound? I have a feeling I'm about to find out. What do you think is waiting for me in this forest? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what happens next.